Upper endoscopy is commonly used in the diagnosis and management of gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, for patients with heartburn, one of the most common reasons people see a doctor. But the American College of Physicians says that the procedure is being overused for most patients. The American College of Physicians recommends that upper endoscopy be reserved for patients who fail therapy, who have other symptoms suggestive of a more serious disease. The new evidence-based recommendations are published in Annals of Internal Medicine. The ACP says that inappropriate use of upper endoscopy does not improve the health of patients, exposes them to preventable harms, may lead to unnecessary interventions, and result in unnecessary costs with no benefit. Patients with heartburn usually do not require upper endoscopy as the first part of their evaluation, unless they have symptoms such as weight loss, bleeding, uh, repeated vomiting, or difficulty with foods. The recommendations are part of ACP's High Value Care Initiative and aim to inform patients and doctors about current and effective standards of care. The recommendations say that medicine to reduce gastric acid production is warranted in most patients with typical GERD symptoms, such as heartburn or regurgitation. Upper endoscopy is usually appropriate in, in those circumstances where you have symptoms such as vomiting, weight loss, uh, pain with swallowing or food sticking, or bleeding. Additionally, patients who fail to respond to treatment after an appropriate period of time should have an endoscopy. For men over the age of 50 with multiple risk factors, screening with upper endoscopy may be needed for Barrett's esophagus, a disorder in which the lining of the esophagus is damaged by stomach acid and may lead to cancer. I think it's very important that patients have a conversation with their doctor about lifestyle factors that may be playing a role so they can be corrected. For more information, go to acponline.org.